Hello and welcome to the story. My name is Peter. Hello to the story. We just can see how we can put hide add to cart with a timer. And when the timer is gone, uh, we have now the add to cart button. You can see we have some condom. And here we have the setting that I did. We have, when, we, when we add this code snippet, on general tab, we are going to have this tab. We have a uh, Add to cut when checked, you just need to set date and time. And upon saving that and updating on the front end, you are going to have this countdown. And you can be able to see the product cannot be purchased when uh, we are having right, this uh, the countdown. When the countdown is done and the product is refreshed, you'll be able to have this add to cut button and customer can be able to purchase the product. That's the story for today. And without further ado, let's just get into action and I'll show you how. The first thing you just need to do, we need to head over to the dashboard and on the dashboard menu, we have now the button for the plugin. We're going to install a plugin that we just facilitated for us to be able to add uh, the code. So on Hofa, select add new. There are many plugins that you can use uh, to add the code snippet, but the one I can recommend, the one I use most is this code snippet from Code Snippet Pro. Install and activate upon installing and activating. Head over to the admin menu, uh, the admin dashboard menu. We have now the button for snippet. Select a new. We need to add a code snippet that will do all the function for us. On the link of the description, I include the link on where you can get the code. So let me just copy this one. I need to here to just give a a name phone i add the code i include the link on the description where you can be able to get the code so all you just need to do is head over here and click on this button select and uh, select here and you paste your code upon saving it you're going now to activate save and activate the code before you do it you can be able to see here on the dashboard or here on product edit page we don't have on the general tab, we don't have the checkbox and all that, and you can be able to see even on the front end. Here we have nothing here. So one thing you just need to do, we need to reload the page or the single pro uh, the product edit page. You can be able to see here we have it. The the product that I was doing for illustration with. So upon adding there, let me just select another product here and how we use this one here. So here you see this is how it will look like. You have this checkbox and you have also this select date and time. So all you just need to do is select the checkbox for a specific product and click on this. You'll be able to see all that. Uh, you'll be able to see the calendar chart and we have the time, time here. So the, the other thing you just need to do, uh, you just need to... This is the current time using my machine and the current tip. So all you just need to do is head over to general setting. You just need to use the one, the time here. If you use this car, the time here, the time that is set here with the system, you'll be able to, you'll be, uh, you find you have a uh, variance in times. For instance, what I mean is that if I decide to use the current time, like uh, for instance, is 43 so i set like 45 and i update here you'll be able to see we are going to have a very variant a big variance like positive three because it just detected the time but you're going to use the one that is on our trace so head over to the setting now uh, on the dashboard menu head over to setting general and you're going to have the time this is the time you're going to use. So once you want, what you do is just refresh and be able to get the time. So like we have 2.43. So I come here back here. And I get back here to allow 2.45. And I update. I'm updating and refresh, you'll be able to see the time now here is about 40, 40 something seconds. And on the other product here, you'll be able to see that we still have the add to cart button, but on this, it just have a countdown. And once the countdown is done, customer need to refresh the page or reopen the page for them to be able to see the add to cart button. So let's wait and see if it work. We're almost there. It's just a few seconds. Two, one. And once it disappear on refresh here, now we have the add to cart button and customer can be able to purchase this product. What if now we add this product to the cart? We head over back here and we head over back here 
and we add some like few seconds uh, f or a minute like that and we refresh here on our product let's see you see it has been removed yeah so and we have the countdown but when the countdown is done we have uh, now one can be able to purchase now the other thing you can be able to set on this code snippet that is that you can be able to customize this text uh, you can be able to customize uh, the background color here we have the style we have the CSS here you can be able to customize on that we have some JavaScript these are the one are helping to learn the time let me find if we can be able to change here yeah, here we have in uh, inside the bar uh, inside the JavaScript we have this you can be able to customize uh, this text maybe for an offer that is learning maybe you are running some maybe Christmas offer or a time down or specific time offer you can be able to adjust this text here and you can be able to change if you just copy the code the way I've done is on line 137 you can be able to customize this text here and you can include the, your custom text the one you want hope you did learn something out of this story if you did learn something out of this story and if wordpress is something for you and you have not subscribed to this youtube channel consider subscribing you're going to create more and you're going to give out more tutorials in coming days till next time thank you